PS5 customer said it stopped working after the power surge. What it does now, it just turns on blue light, then goes off. So plug it to the power. Then goes off. Yeah, I need to click many times just to get back to the blue light then off. So let's take it apart and look at it inside. So I did see that uh, short blue light then goes off. It was uh, like a missing a power line. And we can check in the coils, all even the small coils right here to see if any of them is shorted. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Then we check the fuses and we go from there. We put the multimeter in the diode mode and we put one of the probes, doesn't matter the red or black, in the ground, any copper. Uh, then we check in the coils. That's the second coil I, I checked. So that's a really low. I'm gonna go back to that one. Yeah, this is a low as well. And we have a small coil here. This is a small coil as well. This one here. So remember, we have this one and we have the other one over there. And let's see the other side. Yeah, so this is the first, uh, this coil right here, and this one right here. That's what I did see the first check. Let's check uh, how many ohms to the ground. Yeah, this one is yeah less than one ohm. Yeah, that's not uh, good. So this coil as well, it was showing a low. This one it has 300 uh, ohm, 200 something ohm. So that's one could be the CPU or uh, or the RAM. We can check the side bridge as well. I see that's causing that issue as well. Just want to be sure because when the power source, sometimes the HDMI get a high voltage burn at the, you know, the HDMI here, got a high, high voltage burn at the HDMI controller, then burn at the side bridge. And we are going to have some shirts in this round capacitor. Yeah, this looks okay. Around the HDMI controller. Yeah, definitely that coil it has a bad uh, short but we just want to be sure there is no short
by this coil definitely there is a short This is a fuses. Let's check in the fuse to see if they are good. That's a MOSFET. Could be a shorter MOSFET. It's what's causing the short over there. And there is. Second MOSFET is okay. The first MOSFET is very low. From the source to the gauge, no search. Then we have just low ohm from the drain. Yeah. Alright, listen. I'm gonna inject uh, some voltage in the in the coil. Then we see if anything uh, getting hot. All right, in the power supply, we put like uh, one volt. So this one can deliver like uh, one volt with the up to f uh, 16 amp in one volt in my uh, power supply it's when it's one volt it's only give up to 1.5 amp but this one is give up to 14 or 16 amp let me show you that and here look at the amps You can see it's even is an 18M and more. So yeah, I'm gonna inject in the coil and we see what parts okay. So I am injecting this side of the coil. And they see something this side could be one of that capacitors here yeah definitely you see that one here is the coil and is the left side of the coil well, let's go to the microscope yeah it could be one of these capacitors this MOSFET is show shorted because the source is connected to the ground you can see this is a big ground and if the coil is and if there is a short this side it's going to show this side as well that's why the MOSFET it show like a short but maybe it's not the MOSFET or likely it's not the MOSFET so let's put some alcohol right there and we are going to inject the voltage this side we want to stay away from this area yes I think it's that capac the second capacitor yep that's capacitor We'll go to the diode mode and let's see do we have a short so that one on the ground 
No, it's a poncho. Yeah, that sound is. I thought we still have the shirt. It's a one point something, so there is no more shirt. And in the MOSFET shirt, there is no shirt anymore. Yep. We cleared the shirt and the console, it will work now. I'm going to spread the uh, liquid metal. Yeah, this one needs to be clean because that's block. Uh, yeah, same thing, just with alcohol and uh, paper towel. Can get that. Uh, let's move the liquid. Let's look good. After we clean the we clean the black uh, marks on the heatsink. The liquid metal is spread evenly and uh, okay, so let's try the same thing on the CPU. If there is yeah, look like it's spreading good. And this area you can see that's black. It doesn't uh, the liquid metal doesn't stick on it. Same thing, get some alcohol. And let's push the liquid metal to the side and we clean the yeah I see that that's what we need to remove and let's grab the liquid metal from the side so the liquid metal won't stick in the in the alcohol so so I can't push it just like that. Yep, now the liquid metal is all evenly, you can see. Blue light is on and it's staying on for longer. That's a good sign. It fixed. So power on, we have the display. So this all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you again.